Okay, so if you checked out that little PSA I just did about the little avatar John, that's what's up. But I came back because I had a thought, yo. I had a thought. You know, Naga's thoughts be hitting off, so I wanted to bring this to y'all real quick. <clears throat> they created this term to settle, right? And we settle for a lot of different things, but certain things you shouldn't have to settle for. One in particular. If you are crying out to people, you telling them that you have certain things in line that you can do. And this is for you to keep in mind with people that you're dealing with, you know what I'm saying? Because it speaks to the character of these people, you know what I'm saying? It shows you where they really at with it. Because I'm the type of person where I start like... I started dissecting everything. I started looking at it like what you could have did and what you did. You know what I'm saying? I started looking at it like that, like what you could have did and what you did. And then I reversed that polarity to see where I was at on that on that spectrum when I was in those shoes. Um, what I did and what I could have did. You know what I'm saying? And I always seem to go over and beyond if I'm in that situation. Like I go over and beyond for people. I extend myself really far. And that's, it's probably because I don't mind giving love it, it, no matter what that look like. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever aspect. Like, I don't care about giving the love. I'm going to give it. <laughs> Tell me what you need and let me try to fulfill that the best way I can. But it's always reversed for the chosen people. It's always reversed for somebody who got light. If you come to them and you tell them exactly what you need, you know they do. They try to sum up the less value of that. They try to sum up the lessest value of that. And they be like, well, you know, you know what I'm saying? And then I heard a while ago, I heard a while ago, somebody said, um, people would do stuff for you to make it seem like they're doing something for you just to steal your blessing from you. So it's like, they will never give you what you need, but they'll give you something. And because you don't got it, you'll take that. You know what I mean? Hold on. And in the same breath, they hit you with that. You got to be grateful energy. And they try to reverse the reverse the, any, the energy on you. And then as soon as they reverse their energy on you, you actually feel that effect. And you go to settle. You, you end up putting yourself down because you're like, well, maybe I should have just. And then people start creating this whole value of half sacrifice. Half sacrifice, half sacrifice. And then they make you look like something's wrong with you when you don't accept the half sacrifice. Well, my grandfather used to say, I don't like half ass niggas. He used to be like, if you ain't going to do it all the way, just don't do it at all. Don't even offer. And my grandfather stayed to himself a lot and it made him strong. You know what I'm saying? Because people be on that half ass energy. And it's always another plan that can benefit something else. But what you said, if you said one thing in the beginning and that's all it took, really, they'll move all around that and give you every other answer in the world but what you said, but the main thing. But if you flip that priority and you bring it back to them, you got to do exactly what you're doing for something. Nah, that's how it has to work. So this right here is telltale. You got to understand people not really going to serve you. And if they're not really on your team, they're going to show you that. They're going to show you that by the effort they put in. You know what I'm saying? Whether that's friends, family, or your relationships, it don't even matter. The effort they put in for you is telling you how they really feel about you. That's just the bottom line. You got to start moving accordingly. And if you don't, you know what's going to happen. You're going to end up being the one looking like Boo Boo the Fool. You know, my heart has always been so large, you know what I'm saying? I think that eventually every time you hear, and it's crazy because people spit out false problems just to make people get them attention. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all remember, there's certain situations in my life, yo, where, where the problem is real. And I come through to solve the problem and then you don't even take, you don't even take what I bring. You know what I'm saying? Because it's not really a problem. You just want to sound like you got one. It don't really like to have, to have a situation healed that way. It don't, it doesn't manifest in certain people. You know why? Because they don't need a situation here. They want attention. Most of the time, they got what they need. They just rather look at you and lie about it just so they can get the attention. And that equates, that equates all the way back to the understanding of the divine 
giving attention to the ones who really put the work in. That's why that that's why we have a, a idealistic value towards the terms of working hard and you know what I'm saying and all these other criterias that come from a completion. So then people look at it from a distance and think in their mind what that means. So then that reverberated through existence. And they said, well, if we do this, we do that. It ain't got nothing to do with none of that. Everything is a choice, a focus on self. So now the world gives you all these different focuses of false priorities for self. And what you do is you go make all these your reason to be a better person when none of this shit was, excuse me, none of this ish was given to you by divine. It was only given to you by other people that can use your energy to usurp this idea to make you feel like you really accomplished something. What if I told you Divine don't care about none of this? He only care about you accomplishing the physical body, and that's your job. Mastering the physical body and not making it big, not being the sexiest, you know what I'm saying? Not being the most beautifulest, none of that. All that happens with restoration when you unlock the mechanics of the body. The magnetic attention that your body is able to pull in as a creation of the divine, you harness all, you can harness all the elements of the universe. So when you tap into the flow, because the blood is still flowing, the blood flows. The blood flows whether you whether you are controlling it or not, which creates electromagnetic field in your body. It, it, it creates time travel, whether you know it. So and if I touch my arm right here, boom, I'm going to show you how fast it works. To touch my arm right here, it's a signal that goes from this spot of my arm all the way to my brain, then back to my arm to tell my arm before I touch it that I'm getting touched. That's how fast it happens. And it's happening within the magnetism of the blood that's flowing in. It's called senses. You see what I'm saying? It's super fast. It's faster than time. It's faster than light. It's boom, boom, boom. Because you're still going to touch. And before you touch, you get a feeling. That's your body sending that signal and sending it back already. Faster than light. Because your body is the light. So then understanding that, understanding that you are more important and unlocking, unlocking the features of this physical body is what's important. And when you can unlock the features of this, of this body, knowing that that's one of the natural features that takes place is electromagnetism and flow. You unlock all the other features of your body in your control. You're going to be able to harness nature. You're not going to need anything at that point. You're not going to want for anything at that point. You'll be able to heat and cool yourself. Think about it. If that's all, that's, that's best of basis, heating and cooling. Being satisfied, heating and cooling, and being able to go and come how you please. If you reach that, that's what's going to happen. You're not going to need nothing to do that. And this is why they make it so so hard to believe that aspect. That's why they make that so, like, yo, that's fairy tale. Because some people... Some creations will never, I repeat, some creations will never rise the oil. Never. It's going to take a few eons for, it's going to take a few processions, I'll say it that way. It's going to take a few universal cycles for their nervous system to actually extend and reach the tips for them to have full awareness of who they are. You'll never get that full awareness how divine can put it into you. So you can have your you can have your Elon Musk and your and whoever the other dude is, your Bill Gates is and all this and talk about mechanics and we're gonna do this. No man created under no circumstance will ever be able to give you the full extent of universal principle other than the creator. You won't even be able to tap into a percentage of that. Only thing you're doing is playing in the sand. If anything, you're going to damage the process. That's like you That's like you saying, I'm going to take a baby tree and I'm going to cut it and I'm going to super crop it right then. I'm going to cut it and I'm going to clone it. Before the tree even starts growing, you're going to cut it then. And then it don't work. And you wonder why it didn't work. Well, the tree wasn't big enough to clone yet. 
Still needs some time. They'll die. So you can try to make other things happen, just like it's been happening for eons. But they say every nothing, there's nothing new under the sun, and things that are forgotten are um, deemed to be repeated. So you already know the vibes. Naga.